Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to Tyler Creates. If you aren't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that button as well as that bell button so you don't miss any of my videos. Also, be sure to hit that like button because you're going to like what is in store for this video. So first, I'm starting off with the eyes. I'm going to go ahead and prime that with some concealer and just get it all over the lid. Now we're going to make sure we get the concealer under the eye as well. Now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and set the eyelid and under the eye with some translucent powder. So first off, we're going to go into a light pink shade as a transition shade and just blend that over the eyelid. Now we're going to stay in that crease area and go in with a light pink shade just to start the base. You want to keep sweeping that color from the inner eye corner to the outer eye corner, just sweeping it through the crease area. As you can see, I'm beginning to sweep that color near the tear duct and the waterline just so that as we build up down there, the colors will be have a nice smooth transition. And we're gonna continue to go deeper and deeper with our shades of pink, just to give the eye more depth and just continue to build on these pinks. As you can see, I'm already starting to sweep some of that pigment further away from the eye, just so that we have a beast for something that we're gonna do later. Now bam, we're already going into those deep mauve shades just to go ahead and give the eye more depth on the outer eye corner and the outer V area. And then we're gonna take that shade and blend it in the crease and get it closer to the inner eye corner, but not all the way there. As we pack on more pigment, we're making sure to blend it so that the blend is seamless and smooth. Now I'm just going back in with those pink shades just to help that dark color blend into the rest of the pink. And we're using the same brush that we had the pink on just so that we don't waste product and we're just using what is left on the brush. Now as you can see, I'm taking these deeper pink shades and blending those into the lower lash line. And I'm going to use some concealer, the same one that we started with, our LA Girl Pro Concealer, just to start a base for the halo eye. We want to make sure that concealer is nicely blended out so that it's a smooth base for the color that we're about to pack on to sit on. Now I'm just going to go in with a light pink shade just to start as a base for the shimmer shade that I'm going to put on as well as a smooth blend from the base eyeshadow into the highlight. A really good tip is to take your fingertip, your ring finger, and just press those shades in just so that you get all the pigment out of the color. You can do the same thing with the shimmer shade on the highest point of the eyelid. And now we're going in and just continuing to shape that crease and we'll go back and blend it out later. Now I'm taking a felt tip liquid liner and a purple shade just so that we can line the eye. We're not gonna do too much of a wing today. We're just gonna keep it pretty natural just because we have such a dramatic eye look. Now that that is all done, we're going to go ahead and coat the lashes with some mascara. I'm using my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Now that the eye is done and Candace is feeling herself, I'm going to do the other eye off camera and we'll be right back. So now I'm taking her foundation and just using a stippling brush to apply that all over the face. Now I'm going in with the Damp Beauty Blender and just blending out that foundation so that we have a smooth and seamless base. 
Now we're going in with the concealer just to highlight the high points of the face. And I usually like to blend out the forehead first because it begins to dry the quickest for me. I'm also going in with the cool tan shade of the LA Girl Pro Concealer just to highlight just a bit more. Then I'm going to blend everything out. Once that is all blended out, we're going to go ahead and set that with some translucent powder just so that we don't have any creasing. Now I'm going to go in with some white cream paint and just paint on little tiny hearts as sort of freckles to add on the face because this is a Valentine's Day look and I was inspired by Nikita Dragon for this. And after this we're going to go in with some pink eyeshadow and just dust it on the top of each and every single freckle or heart. Now I'm just using a fan brush to dust off the excess powder so that everything is nice and clean. Now we're going to go in with the white base for the lips just so we can prepare those for the lipstick shade. I'm going to go ahead and let Candace do her lipstick and we'll be right back once she does it. Now when I was doing her eyeshadow I made sure to drag the pigment a little bit further from her eye so that we'd have room to draw some hearts with her foundation shade. And I'm just going back in with the eyeshadow and just to clean up those hearts just so that the shape is more crisp. And now we're adding some more white base on top of the lipstick just to lighten it up a bit. And those lips are nice and plump. That is the final look, you guys. Hope you liked it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, click that bell button so you don't miss any of my videos, and I will see you guys at my next one. Also, happy birthday, Candace. Love you.